Go in the battle, might not come back. When the boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now. The prophets in your town, we here to shut it down. When the boots hit the ground, when the boots hit the ground, all sinners should stop now. When the boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now. The prophets in your town, we here to shut it down. When the boots hit the ground. When the boots hit the ground, all coolness should stop now. When the boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now. The prophets on your town, we here to shut it down. When the boots hit the ground, when the boots hit the ground, all sinners should stop now. When the boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now. The prophets on your town, we here to shut it down. When the boots hit the ground, when the boots hit the ground, all coolness should stop now. It's time for the war cry. All right, so now, uh, what was your question again? You said about a pastor. Okay. What does it mean to like? I heard people say it Saturday, but they didn't tell me what does it mean to keep it. So, okay, okay, I got you. I got you all crazy. Uh, so you said the brother asked, "What does it mean to keep the Sabbath?" Because he had people tell him to um to do it, but he didn't. They didn't tell him what to do. So now, a uh, brother right here in the hat. In the hat. How you doing? What's your name? Brother Fisher. Brother Fisher. How you doing? I'm you well. Good to meet you, brother. So now, uh, do you know what it means to keep the Sabbath? According to the Bible, yes. Huh? So what day is that? That's Sunday. That's Sunday? But you know what? That's Sunday, but I give God today every day. I wake up and see another right, day. Right, right. Hey, it's another day. I'm going to praise him every day. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. What was your name again? Brother Fisher. Brother Fisher. Brother Fisher. Now, a lot of Christians, I grew up in Christianity. A lot of our people are Christians. You understand? Now, a lot of Christians say the same thing. I give God uh, uh, praise every day, right? Every day, right? But guess what? God has ordained a particular day to himself. You understand? Huh? It was Sunday? Okay, now give me give me Genesis, the book of Genesis. Watch this, brother. Brother Fisher. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 1. Listen to this. Read. The book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 1. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day. On what day? On and on the seventh day. What what day did it say, Brother Fisher? Seventh day, okay, let's listen what, what the seventh day is about, read. God ended his work, uh -huh. which he had made, uh -huh. and he rested on the seventh day. Brother Fisher, what day did God rest on? What day did God rest on? God praises. praises, but I'm not going to take No, okay, we're going to read it again. Listen up, listen, listen up. Read it again. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 1. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and rested on the seventh day. What day God rested? On the seventh day. Did he not say, did it say Sunday or did it say the seventh day? It said the seventh day. Now, my brother Fisher, let me ask you. What day is the seventh day of the week? Bring it out. We started on Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We started on Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, okay, okay. Brother, brother Fisher, come take a look. Come take a look. Huh? Come take a look. I want to show you something. You got that other one on here? I give it to you. Look at the calendar. What's the first day of the week? No, no. No, the first day of the week. Not the first day of the month. The first day of the week. Sunday, brother. According to the Greco-Roman calendar, Sunday is the first day of the week. Now, now let's get the definition of Sunday. How you doing, brother? Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. So now, read this. Definition of Sunday. Read. Merriam-Webster Dictionary. The definition of Sunday, the first day of the week, the Christian analog of the Jewish Sabbath. 
So now, it said the Christian analog of the Jewish Sabbath, right? So now, God said he rested on the seventh day, did he not? He said the seventh day. But according to the Greco-Roman calendar, the first day of the week is Sunday, right? But yes, there you go. There you go. Because... Hold on for a second. There you go. There you go, brother. So now, give me uh, Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. Now, so now, now we have to figure out, God said that the first day, I mean the seventh day of the week is his Sabbath day. It's the day that he rested, right? That's right. So now we're going to get it out of the scripture that the seventh day is the Sabbath day, not right. Sunday. Read that. The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So now, right. why did God have to tell us to remember the Sabbath day? Why? Because according to the Christian analog, their Sabbath is on Sunday. But God told the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, the 12 tribes of Israel, he told them to do what? Remember the Sabbath day. Remember That's the Sabbath right. day. That's Remember right. the Lord's day. Right. God's day. Read on. Right. To keep it holy. To keep it holy. Holy. Now, Brother Frank, Brother uh, Fisher, Brother Fisher, let's get the definition of Saturday real quick. Read. Webster, Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the definition of Saturday. The seventh day of the week. That's right. So even those who go by the Greco-Roman calendar know that according to their own knowledge, the seventh day is Saturday. That's right. So why do they teach you in these churches and in Catholicism that the Sabbath day is Sunday? Bring or it can, or can it be out. any day of the week. Bring why is that? Bring it out. Now, what, now why... Are these churches telling us that the day of worship and the Sabbath, Lord's Sabbath day is Sunday now? Ezekiel 22 and 26. Okay, there it is. Read. Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 26. Her priests have violated my law. What did they do? Her priests have violated my law. How did they violate God's law? Because God's law says, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Right. Right? And God says the Sabbath day is the seventh day of the week. Right. So why did they change it? Read. And have profaned. No, no, started from the top. Her priests have violated my law. Because they're violating God's law. That's right. right. Read. And have profaned my holy things. Uh -huh. They have put no difference between the holy and the profane. That's right. What day did God ordain holy? The seventh day. Right. The Sabbath. So they put no difference from what? Put no put no difference between the holy and profane. The holy and profane. What was that? I'm the praying for Lord every day. Okay, okay. Okay, but listen, listen up, brother. Listen up. Read. Neither have they shown difference between unclean and the clean. And have hid their eyes. They've done what? And have hid their eyes. Uh -huh. From hide. my Sabbath. This, right. uh, the Lord's day is every day. Every day. I, there's no Lord's day. There's the Lord's day is every day. I don't see no. I don't every see the day. Lord's day. Bring I say, oh, every day is the Lord's day. Someday is the Lord's day. What? He changed? No, he didn't change, brother. He didn't change. Give me that in Malachi three and six. Bring it Bring God, it the Most High God, never changed. Okay. Read that. The book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 6. For I am the Lord. I change not. God says he doesn't change. So how in the world did the seventh day change from Saturday or the seventh day to the first day, which is Sunday? Because, because the priests violate God's law. So go back to Exodus 20 and 8. Matter of fact, give me Sirach 33 and 7 um, real quick. Give me Sirach 33 and 7. You got that? 
33 and 7. The book of Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 7. Why do one, one day excel another, when as all the light of every day in the year is of the sun? By the knowledge of the Lord, they were distinguished, and he altered seasons and feasts. So now, read it again. Read it again from the top. Bring it out. Bring it out. Why does one day excel another? So why does one day excel another? Like, there should be order in the days, right? So why does one day excel another? Read. When as all the light of every day in the year is of the sun. So the day, the, the light shine pretty much every day. You understand? The sun come out pretty much, it goes up and it comes down. The Lord has set order amongst the, the uh, uh, stars, amongst the uh, uh, moon, the sun, the earth. There's order. The Most High did that. Right? That's right. right. Read. By the knowledge of the Lord, they were distinguished and he altered seasons and feasts. So now the Most High uh, distinguished them all one from another. Meaning that they're not all the same. Meaning that you cannot say every day is the Lord's day. Indeed, this is the day the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. But guess what? Guess what? That doesn't change the Sabbath day to be, the, the, to be every day. You understand? What's that? So what's special on the Sabbath? And, 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 th and this is why we got to get it out of the priest's lips of that that's going to teach the true knowledge of God. Right. You understand? I got to get it out of the word of God. Now go back to Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. Okay, okay, Brother Fisher. All right. So, Brother, you understand that the seventh day is Saturday, right? You understand, Brother Fisher? The sa okay, now what, what are we supposed to do to keep the Sabbath day holy? Let's find out. Exodus 20 and 8. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Now, holy. What does that word mean, holy? Okay, what, what you say, Brother Fisher? To give him the praise. To give him the praise. Okay, now, are, did you say you were a pastor, Brother Fisher? You're learning with a pastor. You're learning to be a pastor. Okay, at a deacon, uh, deacon at a church, and you're... And you're Getting your understanding from the church, those in the church, or, or are you going to theology school? Well, I'm getting understanding from me reading the book of Bible myself. And oh, okay, 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 okay. That's right. All right. So now, so now, there you go. There you go. There you go. Just like, just like in, in listen, listen up, brother Fisher. Just like you said, you said man will confuse you. Just like they have confused us, or all of us, to make us think that Sunday is the Lord's Sabbath day. That's right. That's right. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. But did they not confuse us into belief? God distinctly said the seventh day of the week of the of the week is the Sabbath day. Did He not? That's what the Bible says. So then, why are we going around saying that the set six or the first day of the week, Sunday? Is the Lord's Sabbath day? Why are we doing that? Because, like you said, we let we let man we've been confused by man, brother, by man. We know at the same time, brother. No, you can't. God is not a God of confusion. I said you can be confused at the same God. God said I will direct your path. You can be. We all come to work. And that's why you here, brother. That's why you here, brother Fisher. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Okay, but slow down, brother. That's why you here. God just directed your steps to come here and learn the truth of the Bible. You understand? You understand? Okay, now watch this. Watch this. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So now the word holy here refers to keep it separate. Separate. Give me that in Leviticus 20 and verse 26. Teach us. Real quick. Hold what you got and give me um, Leviticus 20 and verse 26. Because the word holy means to be separate. That's, right. That's why he says it keep it holy. Right. Because it's going to tell you there's a difference from one day to the next. You understand? Like we read in, in Ecclesiasticus 33. There's a difference from one day to the next. So now Leviticus 26 
and verse uh, 20 and verse 26. Read. Book of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 26. And ye shall be holy unto me. Here's that word, holy. God said, and we shall be holy unto him. Read. For I, the Lord, am holy and have served for you. No, no, no. Read that right. God says, I am holy and what? And have severed you. Severed. Severed. What does the word severed mean? To cut. To cut. Now, when you sever something, what are you doing? Dividing it. Separating it. Read. Right. And have severed you from other people. God said the nation of Israel, he has separated them from other people. That's, That's right. How he up. made them holy. I'm Read on. Hold, that, hold on, brother. That ye should be mine. That we should be his. That's how we are to be holy. Meaning separated, put apart from the other nation. Right. Now, now go back to go back to the uh, Sabbath day. Because we're on the Sabbath day. And how do we keep it holy? Meaning separate from the rest of the days of the week. Bring it right. up. Bring it Read. Up. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor. So now you got six days to take care of your business. You got six days to work. You understand? Read. And do all thy work. Uh -huh. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So the seventh day is separate. It's to be holy. It's That's the right. Lord's day. That's Read. Right. In it thou shall not do any work. So there should be no work going on on the Lord's day. That's you right. should not go to work on the Lord's day. Right. You understand? Hold on, brother. What did the scripture just say? You got six days to take care of your business. But on the seventh day, God said, that's mine. That's right. You understand that? Read. Thou, nor thy son, you, nor your son. Hold on, sisters. Hold on. The word of God is coming out. Don't you want to understand it? Read. Nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant. Hold on, brother. Read that again. Nor thy, nor thou, thou, nor thy, son. thou, nor thy son, you, nor your son. Read. Nor thy daughter, nor your daughter, thy manservant, the people that work for you. Read. Nor thy maid servant, the woman who works for you. Read. Nor thy cattle, not even your beasts, your animals. Read. Nor thy stranger, uh -huh. that is within. That is within thy gates. If you got heathen that live amongst you, neither shall they be working uh, on the Sabbath day. Right. Read. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, uh -huh. the sea, and all that in them is, uh -huh. and rested the seventh day. That's and right. rested the seventh day. You understand that, brother? There's to be no work on the seventh day. Now, that's one instruction of the Sabbath day on how to keep it holy. Right. Now, let's go and get another one. Give me uh, 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 Exodus chapter 35 and verse 2. Bring it out! 35 and verse 2. Hold on, sisters. Don't you want to learn how to keep the Lord's Sabbath day holy? Okay, well, listen up as you go. Are you going to the bus stop? Oh, your bus is here. Okay, listen up as you get on the bus. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 30, verse 2. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day, there shall be to you an holy day. So here we go talking about the seventh day, the holy day, the day of the Lord, right? The Sabbath day. Again, six days you shall work, but on the seventh day, the holy day. The Sabbath day. Read. A Sabbath of rest uh -huh. to the Lord. Uh -huh. Whosoever does work therein shall be put to death. Now that's the judgment from the Most High. Not from us. From the Most High. That's the right. judgment. Whosoever shall be, shall be found working, shall be, whosoever shall work, shall be put to death. Read on. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations. You shall do what? You shall kindle no fire throughout your habitation. Now, what does that mean, kindle no fire? You got any understanding, Brother Fisher? It's going into cooking. Kindle in the fire means create a fire. To do what, though? Is that to keep warm? Okay, so now, let's get it out of the scripture. Give me Exodus 16 and verse 23. Now, Exodus 16 and verse... We're going to explain what it, kindling the fire is, is talking about. Read. Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord has said, 
Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So here we go talking about the Sabbath again, right? Read. Unto the Lord. Uh -huh. Bake that which you wait, bake that which you will bake today. And see that ye will see. Okay. So it says tomorrow is the Sabbath of, uh, of rest. Bake what you're gonna bake today and see what you're gonna see. So bake, you know what baking is, right? Cooking, right? What is seasoning? Seed, seed. It means to boil. It means to boil. So he says, bake what you're going to bake and seed or boil what you're going to boil. Do it today because tomorrow is the Sabbath day. Read. And that which remaineth over and what you have left over for today lay up for you to be kept until the morrow, until the morning. So lay it up for you to be kept until the morning for tomorrow. Why? Because go back to Exodus 35 and 3. Bring it right. up. Bring it up. Why? You understand? So, so there's no... Th read that. Exodus chapter 35 verse 3. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. Right. So he said, bake what you're going to bake today. Seed what you're going to... Exactly. Seed what you're going to see today. And whatever is left... Uh, keep it up, lay it up for tomorrow. Why? Because you should not kindle no fire upon the Sabbath day. That's to right, cook, right. brothers. That's right. You understand? So you're supposed to eat today what you had yesterday. Or make cold food, like sandwiches. Eat a salad. Have right. some fruit. You understand? There's various things you can do to eat on the Sabbath day. Right. But just don't cook, because that's sin. That's breaking God's commandments. Right. You understand? Right. They don't teach you that to not cook on Sunday. Right. You understand? Do they? No, brother. They have they have banquets and uh uh uh, uh cookouts after potlucks, uh, potlucks and uh, uh and everything right. after Sunday. They go out to the restaurants and eat uh uh where they where they where they uh, working and cooking. You understand? So now that's breaking God's Sabbath day and holy day. Just to show you, that's not the real holy day on Sunday. Right. You understand? They're not even ta teaching you how to keep it holy. You right. understand? So now we're going to teach you, the men of the Lord are going to teach you how to keep God's Sabbath day holy. Hey. I got some more. What's up? Understood. Understood. Got you, got you. Got you. Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Got you. you. You're right. Because... Got gotcha. you. Listen, listen up, listen up, brother. We're commanded, you, we're commanded, according to 2 Thessalonians 3 and 10, we're commanded to, to work as men and to provide for our family in uh, 1 Thessalonians, right? Listen up, listen up, brother. So we're, we're, we're commanded to do these things, right? So now, give me, give me Judges 5 and 11. Judges 5 Bring and 11. Bring it out. Because you're right, brother, we in captivity. We in captivity and we got to provide for ourselves. You understand? Right. And we and provide for our, our people. So within doing that, we gotta we gotta use wisdom. Right. You know what I'm saying? If, if if we're keeping the laws of God and trying to repent according to the word of God, right. we're supposed to align ourselves as best as possible to the word of God, right? Right. Okay, so in doing that, everything you got, you should be trying to get the Sabbath day off. You understand? Whether whether you whether you are, are seeking another job. Uh, asking um, your manager uh, according because it's according to your religion, whatever it is. But this is what the Bible says. Judges 5 and 11. Read. Bring it out. The book of Judges chapter 5 verse 11. Because the out. people of God are in captivity, meaning slavery. That's right. We are captives. To this day, we still are in slavery. Right. It's just not harsh. It's not hardship. Read. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. So they that are delivered. We're looking to be delivered, right? We're looking to be delivered from what? From our oppressors, from our captivity, from right. our from our from our sins. Right. We're, deli right. we're looking. Right. We're looking. Listen up. We're looking to be delivered, right? But it says from the noise of archers. This is going into the missiles that are prophesied to come into uh, right. to destroy Babylon the Great, That's which is right. America, right. which is America and its allies. That's you right. understand? So now it says, read it again from the top. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. Those who are going to be delivered from the destruction to come. Right. In the places of drawing water. The people that draw water are the slaves and the servants. Right. You understand? They go out with the buckets 
and they go into the rivers and into the wells and they draw the water out, right? right. To bring it back to the master's house. The servants and the slaves do that. Who are right. the servants and the slaves? We are. Right. The Israelites. Read. Right. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So read it again from the top. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water. In the places of drawing water, meaning in Babylon the Great, where we're going to be delivered from. Read. Bring it out. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Listen up, brother. You asked the question. He said, there. Read it again one more time. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the place of drawing water. So they that are delivered in, uh, out of the land of Babylon the Great. What? There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. There you shall rehearse, practice, rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So understand, we are in captivity, brother, yes. But guess what? You still try to align yourself as much as possible in these scriptures with, uh, with the laws of God. Philippians 2 and 12. Philippians 2 and 12. No, 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 brother. No. No. Life goes on, but that doesn't mean that it's not supposed to be a day of rest. That's the day of that's the day of rest according to the Lord. No, it's because we're in captivity, and these people who got us in captivity do not abide by the laws of God. That is why, brother. That is why. And the Lord, the Lord sent them to us. Because we have been rebellious and we have sinned. We have sinned. That's why he has allowed them to take us captive. You understand? Read this. Listen, brother. Listen. Listen. Read. The book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So we all have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Fear and trembling meaning what? That when God says to not do something or to do something, we're going to not do it or do it. We're going to have fear that judgment is going to come if we don't do That's what right. he said do right. or if we do what he say don't do. Right. We got to understand that, Brother Fisher. Okay, we got so... God says, people that open up your mouth, I give you the word to say because God uses certain people to step out and do his work with boldness. Right. But you got to be faithful. So, if you got the Lord's call you to do it, don't right. be powerful people. Like you said, oh, you've seen this and you've seen that. I haven't seen Christ, but you know what? I've seen his works in me. I know where he brought me from. I can walk the walk and talk the talk. I'm a living believer. I don't know what from here. I okay. know what he's doing. Okay. I know what he's doing. Brother Fisher. That's all that makes a difference. Okay. Fisher can say what they want. Understood. I understood. Christ, understood. I don't understood. 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 And, and, you know, uh, the Bible is about change. But the, what we're supposed to change to is, guess what? Getting our minds right according to the words and the laws of God. Hold on, I'm not finished, brother. You keep wanting to call me off. We just let you talk. Okay. But you know what? You cut me off when you started talking. You didn't finish. let me finish it out. How many times did he cut me off, right? Listen to me out, right? Like I listened to him. I gave you the challenge. I promise. Give me the same respect. Listen, we help us one to another. Give me the same respect you want from me. How can I be a loving person to God if I'm not going to give you the same love I want from you? Give, let me give you time to speak, speak and say what you got to say, you know? Because it's all a learning process. God just wants those that's willing to be humble and obedient to his word. God said, I'll school you in the midst of your situation. I'll show you how to walk the walk and talk the talk. Man, it confused you. Appreciate that. But, okay, but what do, you know what we out here to do? Pass the word on the feet of Christ. We're, we're yeah, out here to yeah. teach our people Definitely. because our people are walking blindly. Right. So we're trying to shine the light, shed the light to you so you can see what you've been missing this whole time. Right. You understand? Because... We don't, everybody, you can't say, nobody can say they know everything. Nobody, you understand? So, so it, it's best for us to just humble ourselves when, when brothers got some knowledge and understanding, it's best for us to just humble ourselves and listen sometimes. You understand that, brother? 
listen all the time. When, when you listen all the time, then that's good because you're learning and you are being observed. You know what? I wouldn't have stopped here if I wouldn't listen all the time. But, okay, but now, Psalms 111 and verse 10. Now, watch this, though. You know what? I can say, I know what the I'm book of Psalms. I'm to do in my life. So I, I can tell from the book of Psalms. God bless you. I got to do it. Blessed are they that keep the commandments. Read. The book of okay. Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. Okay. The fear right. of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So our people don't have fear of the Lord. Because if they did, they would show forth wisdom. You understand? They would show forth wisdom and humbling themselves down. You understand? To, to listen to how to keep the Sabbath day holy. To listen to what is sin. What do you need to do to come out of sin? Those things, that's why we are here. You understand that? Read. A good understanding have all faith that do his commandments. Shalom, this I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.